Hello, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. Let's see. I got this um, little plan cooking in my head. So, I'm not sure how this um, thing going on in Scotland is actually going. But, seeing as I'm limited in... Um, how many naval invasions I can start. I'm thinking I might send this force here. Over to here. And uh, interrupt the British a bit. Two turns. That would be fun, because that means uh, we might actually get some combat with these uh, these ships. Let's see. Uh, yeah, if I can start a naval invasion next turn, I might take uh, try to take Papua, or. Belize. So which ships do we have here? Uh, two Colorados. And these I'm sending over. That's also a Colorado, a Saratoga. And two of the Memphises. Okay, well that's a pretty decent, uh, decent task force. And they have enough DDs and torpedo boats with them that they should be able to fend off some submarines. Maybe. Uh, submarines seem to have gotten a bit of a buff since uh, the last campaign I played, the German campaign, but that was prior to patch 1.4. Mm, so let's just go to the next month. Yeah, let's do that. What are we getting for cruisers? Oh, heavy cruiser too. No hurry to build more cruisers. Let's go to April. Okay. Dissatisfied pacifists. Two billion? That is a lot. It's also quite a lot. It's not that much, actually. I can afford this. I would rather not uh, pay that. Undefended port. Okay. Oh, here we go. We actually got that battle already. That was sooner than expected. Got a vengeance class. Queen Elizabeth, Monarch, Ariadne, Cumberland, Cumberland, Cumberland. Lots of Perths and uh, other ships. Alright! So, what has happened is my friends at the CIA instigated a rebellion in Scotland. And I sent my navy there to uh, help them throw off the yoke of uh, British tyranny. Okay, the weather is... Mm, got annoying cloudy weather. Mm, we got ammo, that is good. We are already firing thanks to the radar rangefinder. I have the... Uh, Memphis's follow. Gonna send the torpedo boats home. They don't really need to uh, do anything here. And these can just, I don't know, follow the Nashville? Uh, 
And the DDs can do DD things. Kind of limited in speed due to the uh, the weather. Fuel fifty five percent. Eighty two percent. Saratoga, you can actually just follow the uh, uh, be a part of the division of the battleship. That is kind of wasting the uh, the speed of the battle cruiser, but that speed is not really needed right now. Okay, I'm gonna wait with the DD things a little bit, or no? See, let's get the um, thumbnail. That's a good shot here. Like so, maybe, so I can see the other ships following behind. Yeah, go down to cruising speed. It's not that much slower than your uh, current top speed. Cruisers are uh, having an effect. Battleship can keep targeting the, uh, the enemy battleship. Okay, well let's uh, select some torpedo targets here. My torpedo range is 12.6. These aren't going to come closer, so that's okay, I think. Uh, turn your guns off. I don't want you to get spotted. You're probably already spotted anyway. Torpedoes are away from 2508. Well, on 2507, uh, you may launch. There we go. Now disengage. Are we gonna get any torpedo hits though? Remains to be seen. Yeah, well, there we go. One torpedo hit. It's not much, 
I was hoping the torps would continue on. Saratoga, you might target the war spite. Memphis, is, you can target the hawk. Far so good. Yeah, a lot of these ships are on low fuel. Primarily the light cruisers. I don't know if that's because they've been sailing uh, like across the globe. Or maybe they just don't have a lot of fuel. West Virginia, why don't you just uh, fire AP? Get some of that flooding going. Like that. Get a good look at the uh, the Memphis class. I think they've barely been featured in uh, in a battle before. Get one of those as well. Oh yeah, the Memphises are putting out some damage here. Uh, West Virginia has not done that much damage, but she's been um, focusing on battleships. Because of the way damage and resistance works in this game, you end up doing a lot less damage in terms of raw numbers when firing at battleships than uh, farming light cruisers and DDs and stuff. But that doesn't mean the West Virginia is not contributing. She's pretty much the only one that can do serious damage to these uh, big British battleships. Uh, maybe HE would actually be more effective against the Queen Elizabeth. You can actually just uh, set your torpedoes to aggro should they come close enough. I do 
hate the fog. Saratoga, just keep killing um, light ships. No reason for you to fire at the uh, super heavily armored Queen Elizabeth. Virginia is gonna keep killing the battleship and then switch to the battlecruiser. Indefatigable. Why are my other ships wasting time firing at it? Instead of killing the lighter ones. I think the queen is dead. Now you may kill indefatigable. Saratoga, Suffolk. That's one of mine, the uh, Cumberland. So I wonder what's going to happen to Scotland now, if it actually turns independent. That would be a pretty big blow for the British. Um, where's my DDs? I forgot about them. an enemy ship somewhere here. Is that a DD or something? Saratoga, you can... Uh, torpedo boat. Hit on low fuel, it's flooding. Should be dead pretty soon. There we go. Nine inch hit from one of the Memphises. Oh, there's two of them. Opossum and Contest. fleeing for their life. There we go. That was the last of them.
I gotta say, I thought that would be a much tougher battle. Seeing as I only had one battleship. But, uh, yeah. Mine damage. Scotland is now independent. Trinidad is now independent. Yeah, Trinidad now independent. As is Scotland. Oh, they have another big battle uh, fleet here. That's not the one I fought, is it? No, it's not. But, we did the job. We saved Scotland. So these can now move over here. Just a little detour. I guess. Mm, let's see. Naval invasion. Papua or Belize. Let's just grab uh, Papua real quick. That's this one, right? Yeah. Should be more than enough tonnage to do that. Drinking by that much. Okay, shipbuilding capacity is up to uh, 560,000. We're gonna keep increasing that. So, shipbuilding capacity it increases as long as your um, GDP is growing, and it also increases with the uh, when you increase the uh, the shipyard size. So, max shipyard size now is 140,000 tons going to be increased up to 165,000 tons, which is... 140 is already a lot more than I need. I don't think I have any hulls that can go that big. So, the reason why I keep why I keep increasing this is to get the ship building capacity up. Which I might not need it right now, but it will be important in the future. Mark 4 14-inch guns. Okay. Maybe I should have just waited a couple months designing those, uh, uh, the New York and New Mexico. Well, I guess I did allow myself to give ships a uh, straight out of um, the shipyard refit. Uh, am I gonna get a combat here? This should work once uh, I get more ships into the uh, into the circle. Uh, Arkansas has been repaired. Colorado not quite repaired yet. Let's go to May. Okay, it's May. Uh, prisoner exchange. 400,000. Or I can take one and rest. I can take one and rest. 
it's not even one because I'm I've got democracy that makes uh, unrest uh, that's a negative modifier to unrest and they fire their admiral understandable marine diesel engine one Britain is having a lot of uh, <laughs> rebellions. My friends at the CIA have been busy. Well, I guess technically the CIA wasn't the CIA in uh, 1928. But this is very much um, alternate history already. So that's not a lot of tons required. What we're actually going to do, we're going to send this fleet here instead. And just send these guys to, uh, to Manila. No need to have this amount of tonnage when you <laughs> when you only need three thousand. Like this should be twenty-three thousand, twenty-two, twenty-three. Should be enough. Yeah, it should be enough. Now, research. I can remove that priority. Let's see what we can get here. Control station. Destroyer towers. Electrohydraulic turrets. Sonar 1. Modern naval formations. VHF radio. Mark 5 4 inch guns. That's kind of useful. Quality control is not bad. Electric batteries. Mm, yeah. No spotting plane yet, and I'm not even sure which branch it was added to. I, I would assume it was control station, but maybe not. Let's see, I can't start a naval invasion this turn. Anyone I need to improve my relations with? Japan. Because they are angry with me. And I don't really have a reason to be angry with them. Right at the moment. Do they have a navy that would be interesting to fight? Uh, maybe. Five battleships, eight battle cruisers, seventeen heavies. No, 
Now, who has the biggest navy now? Italy and France. France, by f quite a margin. Uh, actually, Italy, if you're only counting um, capital ships. Interesting. They are very friendly, though. Yeah, let's go one more turn. And then, I don't know, maybe design a ship or something. Actually, let's uh, boost the uh, cruiser design. Japan doesn't like me. Britain and Germany are at war. And it seems everyone is taking uh, Germany's side over Britain. Strike. Here we go. That's a battle. Not a huge battle, we're fighting one heavy cruiser, two DDs, two torpedo boats. We got two Colorados. And some Memphises. Alright. Battleships already firing. Let's see here. Don't need you to. Don't really need you to. The Memphises need to do some uh, proper work here. Let's see, you two can just go down to uh, cruising speed, broadside on. Land some hits. I'm mostly going to be using the Memphises. Their 9 inch guns go bang. Let's focus on the torpedo boats. Oof. Something ate a uh, face full of <laughs> 16 inch rounds. Yeah. Not even aimed at it. That was probably a torpedo boat. Getting absolutely disintegrated. This one too. The Bofer is just lighting it up. Log is like 1.6, 1.6, 1.6. Yeah, that was uh, that was the Memphis class. And granted, a couple of battleships as well, but... Yeah, battleships did 53 and uh, 24. The Memphis is really doing well here. 
in terms of damage, although they were focusing on the lighter ships, so... <laughs> As you can see, you do farm a lot of damage from that. 57 and 38. Look at those 2-inch guns. Or actually 1.6, but still. Now on this one, the 5-inch guns did most. So, yeah. I guess that goes to show the damage numbers aren't really that representative of uh, what they do, because sometimes you get some ridiculously... Uh, high numbers all right no transport losses this turn Cyprus allies with Italy would be nice if I could get some um, new allies naval invasion Belize. We have here one DD. Uh, seventy four percent only from those two ships. I guess you do need some help. Let's send the Cleveland and a couple of torpedo boats. Here now. Oh, that's a juicy battle fleet. Uh, when this is done in two turns, we're going to send some ships down to fight this. How's your economy looking now, Britain? Okay, it's still much bigger than anyone else, but it's um, it's actually shrinking. Quite considerably. Like, everyone hates them. I'm actually risking a war with Japan. That's not great. French economy is booming. Actually, everyone's economy is booming, except mine. And Britain's. A Russian one isn't doing too hot. I'm not that far behind. I'm ahead of um, Russia and Spain in terms of GDP. Not that far behind Japan or Austria-Hungary could potentially catch up to Italy and uh, and Germany, but France and Britain has quite healthy economies. You know, three months and two months. Let's make it one month so you can decide something next turn. Okay, yeah, let's go next month. Mm, tensions. Germany and Russia not being too friendly. Got one more province now, so I guess the invasion of Papua was successful. Strike. New heavy cruiser hull. Mm. 
Britain retains full control of Malta and Ecuador. Looks like I'm getting uh, Newfoundland. And most likely um, Belize as well. In fact, let's. Oh, they're in battle. They are in this battle. Let's do that one. Defending a convoy of three transports versus one life cruiser. Pathfinder class. Alright. Uh, torpedo boats, just go home. You are not needed here. This way, I guess. Arkansas. You're gonna do this alone. I have faith. just head for the enemy. Are they running away though? In fact, torpedo boats, you can just follow the Gwyn. I think they're not running away. Take a look at this before it sinks. Uh, that is an AI design. It's got two double 6.6 .6 inch guns. It's got seven, uh, well, it's got lots of 1.7 inch guns and one triple 5.1 inch gun. That's that one. It's quite an ugly ship. I think. It's hitting me though. Oof! Yeah, flooding penetration with HD. I think it doesn't have a lot of armor. Does it have torpedoes? Yeah, and I'm in range. I'm also in their secondary range. in mine. There we go. Big damage. Let's take a look. What kind of ship is this? Maximum bulkheads. Not very fast for a light cruiser. Uh, not a lot of armor. Uh, unnecessary thick deck armor. I'd go less deck and more belt. Coincidence 4, Hydro 3. Class A armor. They have launched. It's useful information. As for the ship itself, yeah, not very good.
Okay. Now, these torpedo boats are no longer in battle. And they didn't take any damage or anything, so they can just be added to uh, this fleet. They don't weigh a lot, but I don't need much. And yeah, 99%, that's pretty certain. But I failed that before. Now, where to launch the next invasion? Well, this is done. Solomon Islands? I mean, might as well, it's right here. Or should we, uh... What are you doing here, Britain? Taking Ecuador. I guess British Guiana? Yeah, let's take uh, British Guiana. Well, not this turn, because I can't. So, let's uh, do some ship design. Basically, I would like some more... Um, some new heavy cruisers. And I think Modern Heavy Cruiser 2 is the hull I want. Tennessee. Or maybe something on this Heavy Cruiser hull? Ooh, I could make... Um, I could make something like the um Oh, I, I forget the name. The uh like like the Indiana. I think it was. The one that sank and all the people got eaten by sharks. Which class was that? New Orleans? I think. New Orleans or uh, or Phoenix. Something like that. Um, let's do this one first. It's not going to be a historical design. Speed. My others are heavy cruisers are going at 32 knots. So this one should be as well. Can we go with diesel? I want to try making it with diesel. Let's, uh, once I build the rest of the ship, let's compare different engine types. That's an attractive tower. 7,000. Okay, so this is basically a pocket battleship. Both of these are 55. They have the exact same stats, but this one is cheaper and lighter. Okay. It doesn't matter because none of them fit. We're going with three funnels. And it is annoying me that... Uh, I can't have, like, the middle funnel right in the middle. Darn it. As for main guns... All of these are Mark IV. Ten inch is, uh, is quite big for a heavy cruiser. But I'm kind of liking the look. 
Like, this is such a big barbette that anything like a historical 8-inch gun would just look tiny. It doesn't look that much smaller than a 10-inch gun, actually. What about 11? Let's go all out. That looks a bit more right. It's still kind of small. Let's quit tense. Let's build the rest of the ship. I'm gonna go crep cemented. Our bet some anti torp. gonna go Citadel 4 or 5. I do like the resistance you get from Citadel 4. Mm, let's go Cordite 3. What's my flash fire chance if I go with TNT 2? 3.7. That's not much. Yeah, I'd like TNT too because the um, the modifier to flash fire explosion and uh, spreading chance is so much better than TNT three and four. It is totally worth doing a little bit less damage. Um, Electro hydro coincidence four. Are the F radar one, and we still have weight to spare. Now this is diesel one. Let's get my armor sorted out first. I've made my ship quite a bit lighter. I might even be able to fit a um, fourth turret on this. That would be sweet. Uh, main belt. This is quite a heavily armored ship so far. What kind of deck penetration are we looking at? Okay. Can actually pen quite a bit with these guns. are still tense. I didn't accidentally uh, click something. Like so. Well, these are 45s. I do like them a bit longer. That turns my, uh, my deck pen down a bit, but it increases my uh, belt penetration, as well as the range and... Um, what does this do with accuracy? At 20,000 meters. 0.6 with AP. Because I know this has been changed in one of uh, one the 1.4 patches. At 20,000 meters, still 0.6 with AP. 22,500 is also 0.6. Here it's point three. So, two hundred and sixty-three million. That's quite an expensive heavy cruiser. Maintenance is six point eight. If I go with turbo electric, that makes my ship more expensive, and maintenance also goes up. Go with geared turbines. Two hundred thirty-seven. 10 million. 
263, 6.8. So yeah, we are going with diesel. Let's up the range a bit so we can actually do cruising things. Uh, do I fit a fourth turret? Or do I plop down some uh, secondaries? I think I plop down some secondaries. We're first going with the 5 inch 38s. Like so. I can put the bow force here. I mean, they fit as they are put down, but it just doesn't look as good as uh, when they are facing outwards. These can face forwards. Aft weight offset. Let's plop this one forwards a bit. That one too. Just wanted to like sit right up against the main tower. But I guess we are getting a gap. Mm. That's the smallest one. That's huge. How about that one? That looks better. Like so. I guess I could remove a funnel. That does look better. But it does decrease my range. Just too bad these funnels wouldn't fit. Like... Why are they included if they don't fit the tower? Mm, let's see. Two inch. So three inch, that would basically be the double um, 76. They don't fit though. Let's go with some more 2 inch guns. More DACA. of places they just don't fit. Now the 2 inch guns need to be actually 1.6. Can I put some barbette armor on uh, on the three in 5 inch guns? No. Cannot. Can't do that. Okay, that's an attractive... Uh, it is basically a pocket battleship, when you think about it. What to do with the uh, with the rest of my uh, my displacements? You can up the range even more. You can up the speed. This is making them more expensive, though. Well, that's not possible. Let's keep them at thirty-two. Because they're 
there's no point in making them faster if they're gonna have to um, stay at the same speed as other heavy cruisers most of the time. It's just gonna make them more expensive to keep in service. Seven million a month. But plonking down some armor, that doesn't do, do too much to the cost. This is one heavy, heavy cruiser. Yeah, I guess it's one heavy, heavy cruiser. Like so. Uh, conning tower should be at least the same as the belt. Yeah, that's the Tennessee class. Mm. Isn't that a state? I'm not American, so I don't really know. And it should be named after a city, because it's a cruiser. Mm. It's not the historical Baltimore, but it's... it's Kind of similar, just uh, much bigger guns and more armor. And more funnel, but I like my funnels. And it's a diesel. Which is uh, kind of ahistorical for the US Navy, but just made the most sense in this game because it lowered my maintenance cost by quite a bit compared to. Uh, gear turbines and the uh, turbo electric drive yeah let's save the sign let's build a couple of these okay let's build mm. How many? Let's start with four. I want two in um, Philadelphia and two in San Francisco. Here. Still need to rename these Polish Polish boats. Uh, did I did I not rename the something Polish to something Polish? I think I forgot. I think Poland now has a uh, a light cruiser in their navy named something Polish. Literally something Polish. Because that was just an interim name to remind myself to actually rename it before it got sold. But I forgot, so... <laughs> Heavy Cruiser, something Polish. Well, that's... Uh... It is funny, at least. Also, they bought my uh, my Roanoke class. And five battlecruisers of the Pennsylvania class. Not the latest refit, the original one, but that's still... Uh, 
That's quite a heavy force for a uh, for a minor nation. Let's see, who did they compare to? Yeah, that's. Uh, I think Poland. I think the Polish Navy could probably beat the British Navy. Currently, that's something to th think about. Yeah, except maybe their largest task force here with the two battleships, but uh, we're gonna deal with that one next turn after this invasion is done with. Yeah, we're gonna do that. But for now, goodbye and take care.